it feels so stupid right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex. Welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I'm going to be doing another makeup tutorial type video because you guys really enjoyed the last one and I got a lot of compliments on it. So I decided why not do another one today, but this one will be less natural and more, uh, so what is the word? I know the word, dramatic or, it feels so stupid right now. My skin has been breaking out lately, as you can tell, up in the forehead and this side of like the cheek range. But today I'm gonna be doing a full face like tutorial on how to do this look. And I will insert some pictures right here. So yeah, let's just get on with the video. All right guys, so the first thing that I'm gonna start by doing is spritzing my face with some MAC Fix Plus. This is just to give me a nice base to put my makeup on top of. Then I'm gonna go in with the Perfect 10 Skin Perfection Plus. Um, I honestly don't know where I got this, and I've never heard of this brand before, but my mom gave it to me, so we are going to use it. Um, it is like um, a 10 things in one, but it has primer in it, so I am going to use it. Um, but it says, firm, treat, cover, prime, protect, correct, smooth, hydrate, long wear, and boost col collagen? College. I just use this as primer and I'm just gonna blend this in. I'm just gonna pull my hair back into a ponytail. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with the Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. This is in the shade Nude Beige. It's a number 125. This is usually my summer foundation for when I'm in the sun a lot. Apply this onto my face using my finger just to smooth it out everywhere. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with my damp beauty blender. I'm just gonna spritz my beauty blender with some MAC Fix Plus as well. Just to dampen it a little bit more. And I'm just gonna blend the foundation into my neck. Next up, I'm gonna take my Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix. Um, this is in the shade Ivory, number 110. And I'm just gonna take some of this and apply it under my eyes just to brighten up my face a little bit because my um, concealer that I do have is the actual color of my skin tone. So I'm just gonna apply that in a triangle and this is just another stick foundation that I'm using by the way. I'm gonna apply it on my chin, under my eyes, and in the center of my forehead. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back in with my beauty blender and just blend that all out. All right guys, so I blended that all out and now I'm just gonna go in and set my under eyes. So I'm just gonna grab some of my CoverGirl, I believe, yeah, CoverGirl loose powder um, in the shade medium. I'm just gonna set the eyes and then with the extra powder, we're just gonna go in and set my whole entire face. I just realized that I didn't put on concealer. Um, Beauty gurus are gonna hate me for this, but I'm gonna put concealer on now. Don't make my mistake, um, but I'm using, cause like powder and the creams don't mix well and I know that, but whatever. And this is just the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline New York. This is my favorite concealer. This is my favorite drugstore concealer ever. I definitely recommend getting it. Next, we are gonna move to eyebrows. So I use the e.l.f. Um, lock on liner and brow cream in the shade medium brown with my Eco Tools uh, liner pencil. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Pencil. It's an angled brush. I'm going to use the spoolie on my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. Yeah, I'm just going to use the spoolie just to brush my brows out. And I'm just gonna take my MAC Fix Plus and we're just gonna spray it inside of my eyebrow product just to kind of loosen it up a bit and make it a little bit easier to work with. Now that is one eyebrow done. Now I'm just gonna move on to the next one and then I'll get right back at you guys. 
So eyebrows are now finished and now I'm just gonna go in and clean them up a little bit with my e.l.f. Um, angled brush. Um, this is, yeah, this is just an angled brush from e.l.f. that I got at Old Navy. And I'm gonna go in with my concealer. All right guys, so eyebrows are now on and I am going to move on to eyeshadow. I will be using the Bisu. I don't know how to say it, but I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. And then I'm gonna use my Pat Patty de Bra Perfect Palette. Sorry, I cannot pronounce these names. Then I'm also gonna be going into the Bomb Cosmetics Volume 2 palette, and I'm just gonna be using the highlighter in here. Water break. We're gonna go into my perfect palette and we're gonna go with the Oasis shade right here. And we're just gonna use that shade as a transition shade. So we're gonna bring it towards like the brow bone, but like just under it. And then we're gonna bring it in the inner corner here. And we're just gonna blend that out. And guys, a little tip for when you're blending your eyeshadow, hold it down at the bottom of the brush so you can get less control and it'll make the blend look a lot nicer. All right, so now that my eyeshadow transition color is nice and blended out, I'm going to go inside of my small little palette here and we're gonna take the brick shade here and we are just going to put that on in the crease and then on our whole entire lid. Now that that is all blended out, I'm going to go in with my packing brush here. And by the way, guys, I do not know what brand these brushes are. I just got them from Target, I believe, from Christmas. Um, so I'm just going to take it, same shade, and put that on my lid. Then I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with my blending brush and just blend it. Alright, now that it looks all nice and dark, we are going to go into the Balm palette. And I'm going to take the highlighter here and we are going to apply that inside the inner corner. And yeah, we look really glowy in there now. You can't really see it on camera. We are going to put this on our brow bone as well. And then we're going to put it on our nose and our cupid bow. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go in with the mascara and I'm just gonna use the Dior mascara this is the pump and volume so like you could squeeze this and yeah, it's not too interesting and I just use this mascara just to make it more volumized and then I take the clump crusher by lash blast by covergirl and I put that on the rest of my eyelashes I'm gonna put that on my bottom lashes as well. And now that I have mascara on, um, we're just gonna add some blush by e.l.f. And this is in the shade Candid Coral. And we're just gonna take this fluffy brush here and just add some. Um, but that cannot finish up the look. We need to add some lashes because this was more of a dramatic eye look. Um, for just mascara so our eyelashes are kind of disappearing you know so it's gonna look so much better with eyelashes and I'm just gonna use these eyelashes that I got from Target and some lash glue that I got from Daiso I do not recommend getting this lash glue guys I mean it works really really well but it does burn your eyes at first so I wouldn't do that and it crusts up and it makes it's kind of uncomfortable if you don't put the lashes on right so just a little warning but these are the lashes they're kind of dirty because i wear them literally all of the time so i'm going to be using the tarte lip paint um this is in the shade bestie and i'm just going to put this on my lips but this is the final makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you give it a big huge thumbs up if you did subscribe down below and also comment down below what you guys would like to see next and I really, really hope that I could see you guys in my next video. And also, drop a like on this video if you want me to do another type, one type of these videos. And also, back to school season is coming up. And I am going to be doing some back to school videos, hopefully. I'm going to try my best because my family is sort of like the last minute type. 
so it'll be harder for me to get those type of haul videos out but I might be able to do some makeup tutorials like um, some back to school makeup tutorials or I could also do some back to school hair like ideas and stuff like that so just let me know down below if you guys want me to do that and I did see that some of you guys requested for me to do Minecraft videos coming up guys coming up soon and yeah I love you guys so so much and I hope to see you guys in my next video